guys and welcome back to Counter Counter. Why am I introducing a vlog like that? What am I doing? I'm very, very, very hot and I just can't be dealing with today. So that's great. So today, Newt has the physio out and I thought I'd vlog it because I haven't done a vlog in a while. So I thought I'd vlog today. I've never had the physio out. Um, I'm quite interested to see because obviously, like I said, his back's hurting him. Um, as I said before in other videos, his back is hurting him because of badly fitting saddle. We've got the saddle fitter out next Friday. We've got the physio out this Friday. Hopefully his back will get sorted and then I can get on again. So that's the plan. Behind here, I am uh, sorting out my my tack room. I had mice living in there on the floor bit. So that's going to the tip this weekend. I'm very excited. I'm going to put some shelves or something there because I can't be dealing with the mice. So yes, it is half one-ish. I'm looking like a crazy person because I've got two phones out, one to vlog and one for phones. It's two o'clock. I've got an hour until the physio comes out. Um, I had to speak to the farmer about my horse because he's being a little idiot and trying to play with everyone and jump on people's backs. So I had to double check if they wanted him moved or not. So that's my life right now. My pony sucks. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go and get him. Um, I actually don't know what I'm supposed to be doing for the physio. That looks disgusting. Let's sort that out. Um, maybe I'll clean his bridle. She wants him to walk trotted up in hand. She wants him lunged. I don't know if I need to groom him. I will do. Um, I don't know if she wants me just to leave him alone. <laughs> um, I've also heard that he's not to be touched when I put him back after the treatment. I don't know how true this is. I, like I've said, have never had the physio out before. So a lot of questions. Very interested to see what is going on with his little back because he's not right there. So yeah, I'm gonna go out of pony in, I guess. Um, I actually haven't vlogged in A, did you? Haven't, you guys haven't seen how fat he is now, unless you follow me on Instagram, which you should do. A wife called Newt. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> so yes, unless you follow me on Instagram, you will know how fat he's got now compared to my last vlog on this channel. So that's pretty fun. And I've probably only ridden him for a total of three months in his entire life because of saddle fitting problems and back problems. So let's go get my pony in, shall we? Um, so I've just got to the bottom of the, the, the gate, the bottom of the field. There is a bottom gate and a top gate. I was stupid and chose the bottom gate. As most of you know, Newt lives on top of a hill. Um, so I'm literally about like two seconds away from the bottom gate. Guess where my horse is? <laughs> He's near the top gate, so that's great. I've got to walk up a massive field to go and get my horse in. Um, so yeah. Very annoying, my horse doesn't come to call. Cool. same field. Uh, he now thinks that everything needs to go in his bloody mouth. Stop it. Including his lead rope, my t-shirts. It's very annoying. I'm trying to obviously get him out of that habit because uh, he's never done it before. Now he's actually acting his age. No, actually he's acting less than his age. Which, you know, I'm glad that he's having fun and everything, but I'd rather he not try and play with my t-shirt with his mouth. Oh, it's hard work misbehaving, isn't it? Very tired. He's also done this in the field, which is great. <laughs> Silly boy, aren't you? It's good to keep play fighting with everyone. You've got one there as well. Mm, gross boy, aren't you? Hey. Alright, we're back down at the main yard. It's half two. It's taking me half an hour to get him sorted. Um, I've got half an hour until the physio turns up, so I'm going to give him a groom quickly. And... Get him looking half decent, sort out the cut on his eye, <laughs> um, and then yeah, get all of his lunch stuff together, and yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna say that's it, so it'll, it'll be fine. Also 
episode, what the heck is this about here? Why this has decided to do this now is annoying. Honestly, I should just hog it more. Just hog it all off. It's got bloody... Come over here, stop smiling at me. You've got one there on his eye and then underneath his chin, here. It's got another cut. It's not focusing. There you go. What is my horse? Silly boy. Okay guys, so the physiotherapist has just left, um, he's all very sleepy and very tired and a little bit sort of droopy <laughs> to say the least. Um, so yeah, he was really really good actually, he really enjoyed it, but it turned out that his saddle had caused a problem on his right side mainly, which meant that he wasn't able to step under himself and move away from pressure, which is why he wasn't able to move away from my leg and get into corners and things like that. Um, which I know he can do without a saddle on um, because he doesn't want me to do work in hand really well without the saddle on um, so it's literally just with the saddle on so they're all problems to do with the saddle um, which can be fixed next week I've just got to mention it to him my saddle fitter and yes yeah, so he's really happy now um, I'm just gonna go put him away um, I'm glad that it wasn't anything too serious and he didn't have like a really bad back problem um, it was just some tightness in his hip, I mean his hips, and the pain on the right side, which is why when I was brushing him, um, soon after it happened, um, he was moving away from it because he was sore on that side. Um, so yeah, he really enjoyed it though, he was very, very calm, very relaxed, so yes, yeah, so that's just something I've just got to speak to the saddler about, but thankfully she's going to give me a report, so... That'll be something that I won't forget to mention to him. So, yes. Yeah, so, overall, it's been a very interesting experience. Um, she seems really happy with him. She likes the way that he's moving on the lunge. Um, and said there isn't very many babies that she sees that move so freely and so stretchy on the lunge, which is really, really nice. A really nice compliment on my part. Um, seeing as that's what we do. <laughs> So yes, he's really, really happy now. So I'm just gonna go and pop him back in the field and then yeah, I think that'll be it. I don't need to do anything else, um, apart from just putting him away now. So Nick keeps stretching whilst he's walking along. You can't, there you go, there he goes. To put me in a false sense of security because then he tries and gets a snack. <laughs> so, He'll be like, Mom, look how great I'm stretching. Oh wait, grass has just happened to fall into my mouth. He does it on purpose. Now it's the lead rope. But he's really good. He seems to have a little bit more of a swing in his step, which is great. He's got a little bit more rhythm. We had a few problems that have been sorted out by this. One of them is sometimes he naps into one corner on the lunge on the right rein. Wait, the left rein. And that's because he's... He was sore on his right side. Can we stop snacking? It's because he was sore on his right side and he couldn't keep the bend because of that. He couldn't stretch his leg under and then he just fell out and then I fell out into the corner because he'd just, he'd just go um, out into the corner. So yes, yeah, so we've got a few things that have actually been fixed by this, which is great. I'm not allowed to touch him because that's what the physio said. Um, I'm presuming it's to do with the fact that because she's manipulated the muscles and stuff if I touch him wrong I could undo everything that she's just done off oh, this horse I swear to god so um, yeah which is fine but not so fine when he like nudges your hand and moves it over his neck and stuff like that and he's being really needy aren't you Mr Newton yeah so yeah but he's really happy now, which is great. I don't want, obviously, for him to be in pain or anything. Can you get away from... No, stop eating me. Uh, for him to be in pain or anything. So, yeah, I'm just going to go chuck him back out.
There he goes. Oh no, food. Food over life. You know how it is. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. Um, I've obviously just put him back. He's got to have 24 to 48 hours off, which is fine because I can work him again on Monday. He can have the weekend off because I'm good like that, you know. <laughs> um, no, so he can have Saturday and Sunday off. I'm working tomorrow, so... Yes! Oh my god, it sounded like the gate just opened by itself. Okay. Um, yeah, so he can have Saturday and Sunday off. I'll put him back to work on Monday. Maybe do some lunging. Well, that's all he can do, really, lunging. Um, until the saddle comes out on Friday. And then that's the first time I'm going to be getting on my youngster uh, since about, what, three months ago? So that's going to be interesting. I hope he's good. <laughs> Otherwise, I probably will die. So, yes. Um, I mean, I know it's only going to be like a walk and trot, but for like 10 minutes, if that. But still. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this little video of me just going about my daily business with Newt. It's not a daily business. He's not had this every day of his life, but a day with Newt. So, yes. I will see you in our next video. Goodbye, guys.